Hey guys, my name is Arpit and this is my first video of the Google Analytics series. In this video, I will show you how to clean up your Google Analytics data by blocking referral spam traffic and ghost visits. Also, I will show you a quick way of blocking yourself from Google Analytics even if you have a dynamic internet IP. If you want to know what all topics will I cover in this Google Analytics series, you can click on this video. Also, if you want me to cover anything in Google Analytics, let me know in the comments section. I will try my best to help you guys. On that note, let's get started. For those who are not aware about referral spam traffic, let me tell you, when somebody visits your website, their browser passes certain data into Google Analytics. One piece of information that is passed is called the referrer. The referrer is the site that they are on when they click the link to go to your site. The exploit comes from the fact that it is the browser that passes the data. If you can program your own browser, you can pass anything as the referrer. And that's basically the case. Spammers do this to grab your attention. When you see a lot of traffic coming from a single site, then you might go take a look at that site. And when you do, you might get a sales pitch or, or you might see an ad that will follow you around for weeks. Another problem with referral spam traffic is that you don't get to see the real picture. I have seen accounts with 70% of their traffic made up of referral spam. You might be happy that your website's traffic is increasing steadily, but the reality is this is all referral spam. These are just not real people coming to your site. So today in this video, I will show you how to get rid of this referral spam traffic. But before that, there is another type of fake traffic that you guys might not be aware about. It's called the ghost visits. Now, ghost visits are the real culprit, guys. They, they corrupt your data way more than referral spam. So let me tell you a little bit about ghost visits. Now, these show up as real visits in your analytics report, but in reality, nobody ever showed up. Unlike referral spam, which fakes a source but still could visit your website as a bot, in case of ghost visits, there are no visits whatsoever. It only looks like that there was a visit. So how does this happen, you ask? Well, you paste the Google Analytics code in your site. The only difference between your code and my code is the tracking ID number. If I change the tracking ID number on my site to your number, then suddenly all my traffic will show up in your analytics report, even though the visits were on my site. Now, why would anybody do this? So if I want to inject some data into thousands of Google Analytics account to draw attention to my own business, I could set up a private web server, put in the Google Analytics code, and then randomly change the tracking ID number with each visit. Suddenly and very quickly, I'll be able to make a big impression across many different businesses. Now the good news is that I'm going to tell you a simple filter that will eliminate 100% of these course visits. Let's take a look at it. So when you're logged in into your analytics account, under audience, click on technology, network, and then host name. Now here you should not see any other domain apart from your own domain name. If you see some other domain name like I see here, then these are actually ghost visits. Since the spammers are picking random tracking ID numbers, they have no idea what host is involved. They do not know your website address, so they cannot know your host name. Instead, what shows up is either their own host name or something they decided to use. Like you see here, bbc.com or google.com. Now, if your tracking code is not pasted on google.com, then there is no way google.com can be the host. So now what we have to do is set up analytics so it only include visits from your own host name. In one quick move, we eliminate all go spam with no further adjustments necessary. Now if you observe here a little bit, I will tell you www.nsdmindia.com is my do domain and rest all are fake visits. Yes, even nsdmindia.com. Why I am saying that is because I have set up a redirect. So even if you open nsdmindia.com in a browser, it will redirect it to www version. And that's how it should be from SEO perspective. But why I told you this is because now when I show you how to set up a filter i will only include traffic from www version this way analytics will only show data of my actual site another thing if you want to see the impact of these course visits you can set up a quick segment so you will exactly come to know what percentage of your traffic is real let's look at it so i click on add segment and then i click on plus new segment under advanced i click on conditions from the first filter, I select 
host name and then exactly matches and then I choose my domain name www.nstmindia.com now here you can see 47.39% traffic on my site is real rest all is ghost visit now let's look at how to set up a filter to eliminate all these ghost visits with no further adjustments necessary I suggest you first create a new view and set up the filter in that view this way your data will be safe in order to create a new view click on admin under view column click on create new view give your view an appropriate name choose your time zone and click on create view after this you will see the new view right here click on it I will get into the test view for the purpose of showing you and then under the view column click on filter add filter filter name give this filter an appropriate name I like to call it ghost visits click on custom and then click on include from the filter field select host name in the filter pattern write your domain name Now in case you have more domain names that you want to capture like if your shopping cart is hosted on some other domain name then you use this bar also known as pipe put the other domain name without any space. Then click on this verify filter and this what you see before filter was applied it was capturing data from all these host names after the filter is applied it will not capture data in case I go up and write here something and then click on verify again and now in the list if you see your real domain name that means you're doing it wrong then you just click on save and you're good to go in the beginning of the video, we talked about eliminating referral spam traffic. The good news is this filter that I just showed you will eliminate most of it and in some cases all of it. However, there could still be some spam data in form of referral traffic in your analytics reports. Let's deal with it. Under acquisition, click on all traffic and then click on referrals. Now if I put a secondary dimension of hostname here, then you will see all these hostnames have been sending this referral spam traffic on my website. The ghost visit filter that I just showed you will eliminate all this referral spam for you. However, spammers that use real bots to visit my site will still get recorded since they are actual visits to my site even though they come from a bot. Also here you might see some credible or popular website like I see here, Reddit and Twitter spammers do this purposely to fool us so now what I suggest is to identify such spammers put an advanced filter here so we only see traffic from my real hostname so choose include hostname exactly matching pick your domain name and then click on apply so let me give you some quick tips so you can quickly identify all these spammers like just by looking uh, the looking at the kind of referral websites I can surely identify some of them as spam so if you see uh, these websites uh, free share button uh, 199.sc.com so this uh, the traffic from these websites are really less it's just one so they hardly matter but still if you want to block them I suggest you just copy the name and just paste it in a notepad so this way you can start picking up the names that you think are spam uh, I like I like to show you some websites like uh, this one I think is spam so let's click on it let me see where the traffic is coming from so see they've redirected us on Hindustan Times so 
I think Hindustan Times is using this method to generate some traffic for their website. Now it is ethical or not, that is a question that I leave it up for you guys to discuss in the comment section. But it's happening. So this way you can check any domain that looks suspicious to you. Just see from which page the traffic is coming from and if you see any suspicious activity like any spam or any ads over there. So you can just copy the name of the domain and put it in a notepad. When we make a filter, we will eliminate all of them in one filter. So let's look at it. Since this time in the filter will be that uh, we choose uh, exclude and from filter field we will choose campaign source. In the filter pattern, I will paste the names of all the domains that looked suspicious to me. And then I'll just click on save. Now when you know how to eliminate referral spam traffic and ghost visits, the last nail in the coffin is to block yourself and your team from Google Analytics. Even if you have a dynamic internet IP, let's have a look at it. So you will have to add a browser extension called Google Analytics opt-out add-on. I will leave the link in the description section. Once this extension is added to your browser, Google Analytics will not track you. This way you can block yourself and your team even if you have a dynamic internet IP. So this will be all for today. My next video will be about manual tagging and link tracking as a part of this Google Analytics series. If you want me to cover anything in Google Analytics, let me know in the comments section. Also, if you think that you learned something new today, make sure you hit the like button. Also subscribe to my channel for more amazing stuff. I will see you guys soon. In the fall of 2015, Google confirmed that RankBrain is the third most important factor in the ranking algorithm. RankBrain is Google's name for machine learning artificial intelligence system that's